what I see here is mainly shed. There's quite a few of them. Quite a few up here on the bank. I'll go down and get some by the where the water's running out. A lot of these shed are about oh 15 inches long. Pretty good size shed. Like this one right here. And he's about 15 inches. See if I can walk and show this at the same time here. Uh, I haven't seen any wipers or whites yet. I suspect they'll be next. Ooh, there's a bunch right there. There's a bunch of them. Lots of food, lots of food. Coming up to where the water's running out now. I'll get up closer to it here. There's so many shad up here. It's a uh, kind of plugging the grates. Those grates. Oh, they're about four foot deeper than than they are right here. Come up here on the bank. There's a few shad. I do see a carp in there, but like uh, where's he at here? Right there. I see several large carp on over there. No wipers that I can see. Okay, I went to the other side and I was going to show you guys what a bunch of shad look like. I don't know how many hundred are in here. There is a bunch of them. A few carp. Still haven't seen any wipers. I'm going to go down towards the dam and see what, see if there's many there. Seeing quite a few here. What I mainly come up here for was to see if I could find some anchors lodged in these rocks. I, I got a few of them the other day. Here. Looked like a homemade one right there, sticking out of the ground. Here's one of many homemade anchors. Where, where we go? Here we go. That I find up here, and they're just a a can and a, with concrete and metal stuck in it. So there is to it. find me some more here. Here's a. Homemade anchor someone's made. <laughs> it's just a just a piece of a metal, but I guess it holds in the rocks. Okay, here's a mushroom type river anchor, I guess what you call it. I think I'll take that one home. I'll just take and sandblast it and paint it. It ought to be a good one. Okay, now this this has got to be a farmer's anchor. He's got a disc, and he got him a hole, got him a bolt through it, 
And then, and then he's got him a little extra weight there just to hold it down. That's interesting. Now, I don't know what this chain come off of. Probably another type of homemade anchor. I did find a channel cat. This channel cat's head is about eight and a half inches wide, eight and a half to nine. He's a pretty good size old boy. It's too bad. Yeah, the shad are all along this dam. I'm up here trying to get me an anchor. Finally, I found one so far, but. There's shad all along here, and that catfish is the only one, the only one I've seen. I don't know what happened to that guy, but yeah, these are all shad. Anybody lose a reel? Here it is. Oh, he's been here a long time. Got a lot of line on it. Here's somebody's tackle box. I'm going to see if I can get her open here and see what's in it. Oh boy. Oh. Got a few sinkers. I don't know what that is. Lazy Ike. <laughs> the hook's rusted off of it. I don't know how to get into this top part here. See what's, see what's in it. Oh my, here's something looking like a grasshopper. Pyre bait. Oh man, nothing looks like it's any good to me. There's a popper. A clear float. Ooh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> a grub or something, I don't know. Very interesting. Very interesting. Nothing I want to keep for sure. Here we go, another tackle box. Let's see if I can bring her up here. Looks like all this got in it some sinkers and a and a stringer. I found a few more homemade oh, there's something. Tape measure. Where does it go here? Here we go. The tape measure over there too. <clears throat> Almost like I Jerry Dorse's fishing pole, but it's not. Here we go, we got another homemade anchor here. And let me see what it's made out of. It is a hub. And then it's got some straps on the bottom of it. A loop on top. And then right here, let's see what this in here is. It's got the straps on the bottom. I'm not sure what that is. That's off of a wagon wheel or something <laughs> interesting oh now we're getting into the big time here we got a, a disc and I don't know what the, looks like a I don't know what that is for sure looks like it held in the rocks a little too good Now that is one big clam. Well, of course he's hollow, but he's a big boy. Here's another anchor. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Someone's used. Oh, I gotta get on my knees here. Ooh, that thing is heavy. Solid steel. Ooh. Huh? Well, <laughs> looks like a, but, 
oh, three inches thick, thick and just solid steel. That should have held them. Yep. Must have been a bad day for somebody. They lost their engine. Looks to be, oh, I would guess a nine, something like that. I can't tell what make it is. Cover's gone. Or maybe they got mad and threw it in. Who knows? I did find me a lure that might be worth keeping. The hooks are good and everything. Someone must have been using it on walleye. Well, I did find the top to that motor <laughs> is about, oh, 30, 40 foot away. I still don't know what kind it is. Here's somebody's fishing pole. I'm going to see if I can reach down there in the water and get it. Recording my video right there. Get her out of the ice here. Oh. She's a little late on the ice. She's a little tore up. About a seven footer. Looks like an ugly stick with that light end out there. It is an ugly stick. Let's see what we got here. Looks like a, a rod goes down to a, a disc. Boy, that disc, that metal is really, really thin. That wore out. But, it looks like it's held. Maybe it's a little too good. Another anchor. Pretty good size. I think it holds a pretty good size boat. Well, I was just getting away from the house and and I decided I'd come up and see if I can find an anchor. I found a couple anchors for me and I found a whole bunch of homemade ones and the only fish I really see dead are shad and I thought I'd just make a like this for you. I'm about halfway down the dam, I guess, or a third of the way. And I got to go all the way up there to get out of this place. So thanks for watching. A few ducks. They've been quacking all day. They're down there cleaning out those shad now. They just got there. I'm going to see if I can get down there. There's, oh man, there's a whole bunch of them at a time, whatever they're bringing them out with. 